Uh, hi guys, uh, Jay here. Uh, this is the third video on the Adobe Illustrator Vector uh, Vintage Badge tutorial. Uh, I hope this uh, this will be the last video uh, since uh, this uh, process uh, uh, took a pretty pretty large amount of time for me. Uh, the the difference uh, uh, between the previous video and this one uh, is uh, that I have uh, made this. Uh, gradient a bit lighter uh, to match uh, this one here uh, and uh, I think I've put this uh, star uh, it was on top here uh, and I've put it under the grunge uh, layer here uh, so th that this, these particles uh, affect uh, the look and the shape of the star uh, so uh, now we come uh, to the main star uh, of this whole tutorial uh, and that is uh, how to create uh, these uh, like ripples here and torn edges uh, which <laughs> look uh, pretty cool uh, so uh, the trick is uh, I'll first create a rectangle it can be uh, this size and uh, I'll go slowly here uh, this rectangle should be uh, colored in 50% uh, from the white to black uh, so uh, around in half if you go to the uh, black and white color slider slider uh, it, it this slider should be on uh, 50 percent uh, this uh, step is very important and I'll show you later um, <clears throat> now what we uh, want to do is select the mesh tool select the mesh tool and the uh, only other colors uh, that we are going to use is this uh, one step uh, darker and one uh, these are two two steps darker and two steps uh, lighter so I'll put those colors here so you can see uh, this is our color the main and uh, this color will be like this and of course a, a dark a dark one totally black so, uh, mesh tool, mesh tool uh, is under the shortcut U, and uh, I'll create a point here, a point here, and a point here, and another here, here, and maybe here, here too. But these these are not uh, too important. Uh, uh, what we are actually trying to do here if we select this rectangle which is a mesh uh, by the way right now and change its color mode to uh, overlay uh, when we uh, drag it over our artwork uh, it acts it, it is invisible uh, this is the, the specific and the, the beauty of the overlay uh, transparency option if you select its color be for example 40 percent it will lighten everything that is under it and if you select 60 uh, percent it will darken but on the 50 percent it it won't be actually visible at all and that's uh, where the trick is you can probably guess uh, where this will lead us so I'll use the direct direct selection tool and select uh, these middle uh, points all up to this one here. We won't select this one, and say uh, it's this color uh, and set, set this color to black. Uh, the next ones, uh, this one over here, I'll put them lighter, and these I'll put them just a bit darker than our uh, basic color and then uh, what <laughs> this is where the beauty comes uh, you actually main, uh, make your own uh, edge design so I'm not being creative at all here I'm just pushing these lines up and back and forth uh, really uh, really a pleasure uh, working with this and then seeing the results uh, which which are be amazing trust me uh, so I'll just take some time and make uh, something interesting here make 
this this should be it. Uh, what I like to do uh, is I'll create create an ellipse here, and uh, just to to match this edge, to hide this this these uh, I'll call them ears. Uh, so uh, you'll see the purpose of this. And then when we I'll rotate this, when we drag this to our artwork. You can see uh, how beautiful this is. Uh, I'll I'll put this uh, groupy group group, group uh, under these layers, uh, just above this uh, uh, this grunge texture, and uh, I'll say edge. Uh, what we can do? Uh, I'll copy this and uh, paste in front. And then reduce this opacity a bit, uh, so uh, we get a more uh, realistic uh, look of this. Okay, uh, I'll make a group of this, and uh, since this is a bit too big, it doesn't look very pretty. But um, maybe we should reduce its size. Just a second. Just a second. Isolation mode here to get this done. Okay, this one is okay. I'll copy this same, this same edge uh, over here. And you can have a, as much fun as you like here. You see how it looks. Really amazing. Um, I'll just take some time uh, and. Uh, do more of these. I make one smaller here. Make another here. Uh, you need to watch out uh, because uh, we uh, in the start uh, we said uh, our light is coming uh, from here. Uh, so we should uh, do a bit editing, but I I won't be doing this this in this uh, video. Uh, it would take too much, but what I would basically do is uh, flip this over. Let me show. Let me show. You. I'll, I'll show you. Um, so uh, grab this handle, hold Alt key, and like this. I believe uh, it looks a bit more realistic. Realistic now, and uh, I will do this for this too. Drag. No. And this one too. Okay, this one's this one's fine. But this one isn't. This one isn't. I'll drag uh, this guy. down a bit. You need to watch out. Uh, on the star, because of the overlay uh, function, uh, it won't look very good, but I believe this is fine, just fine. We are basically done here. Uh, another thing uh, you can do is make this shadow longer and uh, add some kind of a gradient here uh, to make it more look more re realistic, like this. And uh, that's it, folks. I really hope uh, you found uh, all my tips uh, here. That I presented is uh, useful. Uh, I'll uh, be hoping. I'll, I'll hope. I hope that I will make uh, more tutorials in future. And uh, please, uh, if you liked uh, my tutorials, uh, 
please subscribe and uh, click the like button so uh, you support me uh, see you uh, next time